what is it that you love doing? What is it that you can do very, very well? In our story today, we read about Tulo, the frog. Tulo who could sing <laughs> very, very well. But Tulo the frog does not use his voice to help other people. Well, let's see what happens in the story, Tulo the frog. My name is Wangara the storyteller, and of course, we are at the textbook center, ready for another story. A long time ago, there lived a frog. His name was Tulo. Tulo lived in a large swamp in Mundo Forest. Tulo was a good singer, but he was lazy and proud. He laughed at animals that could not sing. Tulo had the sweetest voice in the forest. Every morning, animals gathered near the swamp and Tulo sang for them. One day, King Elephant called a meeting. King Elephant wanted someone to sing for his son. His son was very sad and lonely. Many animals came. Tulo did not come. I cannot sing for a sick person, Tulo said. King Elephant talked to his son. My son, what makes you so sad and lonely? He asked. I want Tulo to sing for me, the son answered. King Elephant wanted his son to be happy, of course, just like any parent. The following day, he called his friend Nugu the crow. My friend Nugu, I want you to help me. I want you to bring Tulo here. He should sing for my son, said the king. Yes, my king, I will do that, Nugu said. On his way to Tulo's home, Nugu met Moshi the squirrel. Where are you going at this time? asked Moshi. I am going to see Tulo. The king wants to see him. Will you come with me? Nugu asked. Oh yes, I would like to know where Tulo lives, Moshi answered. Moshi and Nugu came near Tulo's swamp. Eh, what shall we do if Tulo refuses? Moshi asked. Hmm, we shall tell him that the king will reward him, Nugu said. Yes, that is a good idea, Moshi said. In the swamp, Tulo was singing one of his songs. Tulo, the son of Mbundo Mbundo, the great forest, my voice makes the king tremble. His son cannot be happy without my voice. Tulo, the great singer. Moshi and Nugu stood near the swamp. They listened. Then Nugu said, King Elephant has sent us to you, Tulo. His son is sick. He says you should sing for him. The king will reward you. You will be in his choir. Go away. I do not sing for sick animals, Tulo said. Moshi and Nugu waited for a long time. Tulo did not come out of the swamp. When they left the swamp, they were very angry. Tulo did not listen to their request. Moshi was tired of walking. Nugu decided to carry him on his back. Later, Tulo changed his mind. He decided to sing for the king's son. I will sing together not to please the king, he said. He decided to visit Nugu and tell him what he had decided. Welcome, my friend. I'm preparing some magical porridge. I will bring it to you tomorrow. It will soften your voice, Nugu said. Thank you. I will wait for the porridge, Tula said. The next day, Tulo met Kwaku the parrot. Kwaku wanted to teach Tulo some new songs and how to dance. <laughs> Kwaku 
Kwaku was eager but proud to Lothar that he was the best singer around. You cannot teach me anything. I am the best singer in the jungle. Left to right, right to left. One, two, three. Kwaku began dancing. No smiled and said, Oh, you dance very well, Kwaku. Tulu is a good singer, but he cannot dance like me, said Kwaku. Kwaku does don't dance well. I can dance better than him, Tulu said. Kwaku was not happy. She left for her home. Tulu went home. He was very happy. He imagined himself singing for the king's son. I must please the king so that he can reward me. I am the greatest singer, he boasted. Tulo sat near the swamp and began singing. Tulo, the son of Bundo, Bundo, the great forest, my voice makes the king tremble. Tomorrow is my big day. <laughs> He sang and sang until he dozed off. Nugu and Moshi were busy warming the magical porridge. I'm so happy we shall give Tulo the magical porridge, Moshi said. My friend Tulo will sing like an angel, Nugu added. Moshi and Nugu put the magical porridge in two cups. They began their journey to the swamp. One of the cups had cold porridge. The other one had hot porridge. If taken hot, the magical porridge could burn your throat. If taken cold, the magical porridge could give you hmm, a sweet voice. When Moshi and Nugu arrived at the swamp, they found Tolo. Tolo! Here is the magical porridge! Nugu said. Tulo came out of the swamp. He grabbed the hot porridge. He liked the color of the cup. Tulo drank the hot porridge. <gasps> oh! It burned his throat. He screamed and hopped back into the swamp. The animals and birds gathered around the swamp. They had come to see Tulo off to the king's palace. But do you think Tulo could sing anymore? Mm -mm. He had taken hot porridge. All he could do was croak, croak, croak. <laughs> the animals laughed at him. They also teased him. From that day, frogs lost their sweet voice and that is why they croak in the evening and at night so the next time you hear a frog saying croak croak then you will know that it is because Tulo due to his boasting made frogs lose their beautiful sounds oh well I hope you've enjoyed the story. I definitely have. Until next time. Bye.